All right, I've been buying some really cheap graphics cards in the city of Toronto on the secondhand market, and I think I finally got scammed. You can see this 3070, it's an EVGA, has two fans that are spinning and one fan that is doing nothing. The seller did not mention that this third fan does not spin. They said the card works great. Obviously, it doesn't. And it's not an issue with the fan. It's an issue with the graphics card, and I'll show you how I figured that out in a moment. So it's a little bit more difficult than just swapping out a fan. You can see it's running hot. Obviously, it's just doing some GPU mining. I've been buying the cheapest ones I could find in hopes that GPU mining comes back and then I'll have some cheap GPUs because I enjoy this as a sort of a side hobby. Don't really dive into it, but you can see it's sitting like 75 Celsius and this, those two fans are cooking at about 77% as compared to the other EVGA that's in here, which is at 60 Celsius and 60% on the fans. So much hotter and the fans are going way faster. Obviously, it's only using two fans versus three. So there's the three fan version, and there's the one that's running just the two fans, and the third fan just sitting there doing absolutely nothing, not contributing to the cooling effect of this graphics card. And like I said, the fan works, and I'll show you how I figured this out. These EVGA graphics cards actually have individual pinouts for the fan. So the blue pinout on the board is actually for the rear GPU, so it goes front, middle, back, obviously. So I took the blue one off, which would be the rear fan, and plugged it into where the middle fan should go. The middle fan plug doesn't reach the rear fan. You can see it's just, it's too tight, but I could plug the rear fan into where the middle fan goes. So that's what I did to test it, to see if it's a fan issue or if it's an issue with the entire graphics card. And you can see that that rear fan spins just fine. So it's not a fan issue. It is 100% an issue on the board of the graphics card. I sent EVGA a message. And of course, this graphics card ran out of warranty about one month before the seller listed it, obviously. And again, you know, it's still running hot. It actually runs cooler with the front and rear fan, but it's still running pretty hot. Now I do take the back plate off this thing because I wanted to see if there was something super obvious that would be preventing that fan pinout from working, like some little broken solder, that kind of thing. Something that would be just dead obvious by looking at it, and I didn't see that. And in fact, pulling off the back plate on this thing, there's not very much to see underneath this. It just sort of goes into those little black wires on the motherboard. You can't really see where they're going, and you really need to know what's going on with that motherboard to uh, troubleshoot it. So what I did was I went on AliExpress for the first time ever, and I got this rainbow looking cord. I got the other cord for my fan so that I could run three fans off one fan header from my motherboard. But this rainbow colored jumper cable here is the uh, the money shots. So there's a female pinout for the motherboard. So one side is gonna plug into the motherboard and it has the male pinout for the micro fan header on the GPU. So it's not a regular pinout on the GPU. You can't mix motherboard fans with this fan. So you need something to split it. I'll put a link for the AliExpress thing I used. So the first thing I do is obviously put the middle fan back to the GPU. And then I'm gonna take this rainbow cord here and I'm gonna plug it into the GPU. Now it looks like it goes this way. There's no instructions on this. And I think probably the EVGA plugs are proprietary. This is the wrong way for the EVGA plug. I do turn it around, so just keep that in mind. So my initial assumption on how that goes together was not correct. So it works fine once I flip it around, but as it is right there, that is wrong. It does not work. So plug that in and then just take the motherboard end of this thing and plug it into a fan header on the motherboard. And that is pretty much it. So I do have that fan splitter that I used for the rest of the cooling fans. Obviously, I wanted to still run all my fans and this was gonna take one of the spots. So you can see that fan there, it is running at like 80% because I obviously keep the case fans on this mining rig pretty high, but I will adjust that. So you can see it's plugged into the motherboard, it's plugged into the graphics card and that one rear fan, like I said, it is spinning real fast right now at like 80%, but that's okay. And then here's where I plugged in the three fans. So I had to obviously split that up. But if you're using this for like a gaming PC, you wouldn't need to do that. You should have enough fan headers. You could probably just get away with that one cable from your GPU and you'll still have a few fan headers for your case or whatever. So I'm gonna go into the fan curves into the motherboard BIOS and I'm gonna switch the fan curve for the one GPU. Now the other EVGA GPU runs its fans at about 60%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust system fan number two, which is the 
fan that the GPU is currently plugged into, and I'm gonna drop the speed of that fan to 60%. So it'll match the speed of my other EVGA GPUs. So just drop all of the settings right down to 60%. It doesn't actually let you drop that last setting down to 60%, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't reach those kind of temperatures anyway. And then I'm gonna say, apply it only to fan two, which is where the GPU is plugged into. And then I'm gonna take that and basically log out and save it. As soon as I hit apply to, that fan on the GPU slowed down considerably, down from 80% to 60%. So that one fan is currently running at 60%. And the other two fans are obviously not running. So then I'll just go to save and exit. So that I'll save the settings on the GPU. So now my motherboard is controlling that one fan which could be a pain. If you're using your computer for gaming, it probably would be just fine to keep that one fan running at say 50 or 60%. But obviously if you're just using it for workloads or whatever, maybe you set that fan lower or you keep that fan off because it's not actually gonna heat up anyway. And you could just run off the two fans. But if you're using it for gaming, like I said, I would just set it at 60, let it run. If you're using it for mining, I would just set it again, 60 or 70 and just let it run. And you can see now all the fans are running, the GPU's mining, the Fan header is hooked into the motherboard and it's working fine. So ultimately I pay about 300 Canadian for the card and that cable only actually cost me $4 and I got to make a video out of this, I guess. But it was a bit of a pain. I was kind of initially angry that the, the dude sold me a bad card. Anyway, the GPU is now at 60 Celsius. The fans that are being sensed by MSI Afterburner are running at 62%. So this has been running for a while now. So I think that's good and stable and that's gotten everything under control. So anyway, if you have a fan issue, and it's not the fan, it's the graphics card. You can get around that issue without having to do a bunch of janky mods with case fans and stuff like that. It is possible to just run your GPU fan off the motherboard. Anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.